Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to the third episode of our new Long War 2 playthrough. Today we will be taking on Operation Silent Whale, where we will be able to free some resistance personnel and get two new rookies. We are at 116% infiltrated, so I think we will be going pretty well. Enemy readiness is vulnerable, which is the best it can be for us. So, let's get started. All right, so let's begin. This is of course part of our A-team that we're playing with. So, jailbreak mission. A group of resistance contacts were rounded up during an advent sweep and are being held in holding cells in the area. Advent vehicles are inbound to transfer the rebels to an unknown location, so we have a limited window to break in and get these people out. If we can safely extract them, they will be an asset to resistance operations in this region. Alright. It's quite a distance away. Alright, so we have three people in the holding cells over here. Two of them would be rookies. This is the extraction zone. Interesting. So, we need to get close. And wow, that is even further than I thought it was be going to be. <laughs> But then we have to haul back over in this direction. Right, so who do we have? We have Kazuko Kato, who is our technical. Ella Wouters, who is, let's see, our ranger. Right, we have Lucy Chan, who is our shinobi and just our primary scout class. And I think that we're definitely going to want to go as far as possible. So we're going to drop down here for now. And let's see. Let's go into low cover. We might as well. No contacts yet. So who else is left? We have Owen Brown with the machine gun. And then we have Carol Griffin, who is a rookie. Right, so nobody got detected. Or we didn't see anything. Copy that. Ella Wouters, how far can you go? Well, we are going to put you in heavy cover. We're going to put Owen Brown in heavy cover. And Kazuko Kato, well, he can go only that far. I would expect this guy to be, a, or this girl, <laughs> to be able to move a little bit further than the guy with the heavy machine gun, but he seems to have pretty decent movement statistics. All right, so we have a small pod of two. And somebody, or something, went through a window <laughs> by the sounds of it. All right, so let's have a look. These guys... Well, they are just a gr group of two, I think, which is pretty damn nice. But, um, let's see, we have three people in heavy cover. Carol Griffin could move in into heavy cover as well, because I think what we are going to want to engage these guys as soon as possible, because... That way we will be able to keep the groups of people that we engage manageable. I think it's better now than... You know, I don't want to do the same thing as the last mission where we trigger absolutely everything in the fucking map. <laughs> that would have been really bad. So, let's see. I do want to keep my friend over here in concealment. I want to keep her hidden from the enemy. Let's see, we have a door over here, so I think... We might want to hide her over here, and that would keep her safe. Right. Everybody else doesn't have contact, though, which is unfortunate. 64, 64. The Advent Trooper would be our obvious first target, because if we manage to kill him, well, that would be much, much better for us. Owen Brown, I don't want to use him to engage. And the reason for that is because he can suppress the enemy when need be. We can move her a little bit further into heavy cover. Because I'm sure these guys, they will move forward. Right? So I want to keep everybody in high cover. I guess these can be in Overwatch. Overwatch. And you in Overwatch. And then we will engage the Advent Trooper. And hope for the best. A <laughs> Grace with two damage. Alright. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
All right, first Overwatch. A hit of three. Nice. That looks like a hit. Oh, nice. Good. Good, good, good. All right, so we have one Overwatch left. And a wounded character. Now, I'm not sure what he went ahead and did. I think he's an Overwatch or he fell back. Either one of those two. Now, let's see. Could we move our first character up into high cover again? Doesn't look like we could. But we could go into dual... S well, we could over here, but... You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see what we can see this way. Nothing. Oh, open the door, please. Uh, I'm not standing right next to the door. Right. Alright. You're going to move forward into heavy cover. Alright. So let's see what else we can do. Could we get up here unseen? No, we could not. Or at least we could get up, get up unseen over on this side. And now we're getting pretty damn close. Ah, here's the enemy. They're on the roof. Interesting. Alright, so let's move you up into heavy cover, and he's going to go in overwatch in case the enemy tries to move forward. You can move into overwatch, and then we only have my friend left, so let's see. We could move up here though. That could potentially be interesting, and we have dual sided cover. Actually, yeah. Let's go for it and hope that we don't trigger anything because that might have been a mistake, but we might be able to get a flanking shot. Oh, fuck. Yep. No, that was a mistake. Jesus Christ. Mm. Of all the terrible mistakes. That was definitely a terrible mistake. We get a stun? No. Disoriented and a hit. I should have kept her off the roof. Jesus Christ. This roof was too big not to hide anything. Alright, so panicked as well. <laughs> Hunker down. Well, this is going to be a hit. Mm. Only one HP left. These guys are overwatching and overwatching. And what are you doing? Alright, so we got the overwatch on him, at least, but it's a miss. Another one. Nice, that was a hit. For for free damage, alright. That's decent. But now we really need to deal with these people on the roof. We really do. Could we? I'm pretty sure. Oh, we could get a rocket up here. That could be good, because we need to get rid of the flank. And if we could, yeah, we can incorporate the drone in the attack as well. But we should also do it in such a way that it doesn't affect our character. But yeah, let's do this. We need, we need some damage. We need to do some real damage. <laughs> oh, wow. That guy should be dead from the fall. Yep. Excellent. Wow. And for some reason, after a big explosion, the frame rate just plummets down to an absolute insane degree. Alright, so the, the drone is left. Could we get into position of, of seeing the drone from somewhere? Nope. Alright, so we could not get up on the roof over here, which is unfortunate. Well, we have to go up here. This is an easily flankable position. Happy these guys didn't fire, though. Alright, so our closest character should now move up to... Ah, oh, that's this character, I guess. I wonder if I could throw a flashbang up on the roof from here. Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to try. Well, we could throw it as far as that, but that's not far enough. All 
All right, well, fuck. Let's move you up. This would be a flankable position, and actually, this might be... That's a terrible idea, but yeah, let's move this character forward, and on the roof, at least. But basically, I want, I want to keep my friend alive, so I want to keep... You know, some distraction would be good, but if both of these guys were able to shoot her and then kill her, that would be terrible, and this could do the last damage as well, so it's not necessarily going to be the best of ideas, so I'm not going to do that. There's plenty of shit left that could damage my character. The drone is a problem, and the sectoid is a problem. Let it be a stun. <laughs> oh wow, that was not a stun. But it was a miss. What are you going to do? Raise a zombie. Alright. That is practically a wasted turn. But please don't hit. Oh man, 34%. Mm. And the other character. Another shot. Oh fuck. Well, bleeding out. It can be saved, it can be saved. But. Mm. I have to be very quick. We have a character panicking. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give me back control of my characters, please. I need to do some. I need to make actions here. Alright. I love Vouters. These guys are still behind cover over there, which we do know about. So. I'm tempted to throw a grenade. Very tempted. Since I cannot... Yeah, this would be definitely a flanked position. That would not be helpful at all. I guess this character would need to move up on the roof for sure. And I guess, you know what? Let's go for it. I need to move one character close. The other guys can go into Overwatch. Let's see if we can blow up this bit of the roof. Probably not. It's going to keep the roof intact probably, but it's going to do some damage. One trooper was killed. Excellent. They're going to be in Overwatch. And this zombie is not going to reach us this turn. So this character is going to run forward as far as we can get him. And I think what I need to do here is I need to pick up my friend with one of these guys and then try to get her back to the evac zone right away. Which should be manageable, I think. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't bring anyone with... Um, well, let's see. Ah, damn it. You missed a zombie? Really? Alright, so that guy has one HP left. <sighs> Jesus Christ, these guys are accurate. This is going to be the stun, probably. Oh, damn it. Please let it fail. And of course it's not going to fail. There's the flank that I was expecting to happen once we moved over here. Yeah. Alright, this is terrible. I mean, the playthrough that I was playing, it went so well before, and now it's just absolutely fucking terrible. Alright. So we need to start making some, some moves here. We need to get rid of the zombie. In order to do that, I think I want to move... Yeah, we can't use a flashbang with her, that's just so annoying. You need to move up, but you can't do anything from here. Damn it! Alright, so we could flank this guy. We could move up into heavy cover. And 
And I guess you're just going to have to take a shot at the zombie here. Because nobody is going to be able to kill the sectoid. And we can get two shots. Which is really, really useful. Because that should be able to kill off the zombie for us. Oh, reload. Really. What about point blank shots? 29%. Jesus Christ. Alright, so maybe... Use a grenade. But that's not going to reach. Oh man, what to do here? The zombie is an issue. And we don't have the free reload. May oh, we have a grenade on this character left, so maybe we should do that instead. Alright, let's move this character up as well, because we need more firepower and we need to get, to get people closer. I'm so pissed off with the fucking stun though. The stun is just horrible. There's another bit of damage. A miss. Well, <laughs> that's surprising. <laughs> another miss. Pretty high percentage chances too. This character is moving off somewhere else, and in Overwatch too. Hmm. <sighs> One turn. We don't have anyone with a net kit. Alright, let's have a reload. All right, what are we going to do here? We need to move some people towards this objective. So I think I'm just going to drop my one character down. Ah, oh, and it's going to draw Overwatch. <laughs> it's a miss though, good. Was it a miss? Yeah, it was. Good. Alright, so we we're going to move one character in heavy cover up here. There's just no place that we can actually get a view on any of these characters. That's just so annoying. So I guess we're going to move up into high cover. Overwatch. Sadly, my shinobi is going to die. <laughs> of course, another group turns up. Oh, that was a pretty decent hit. It's only a single drone. Of course, this drone is getting another shot in. <laughs> another miss. Alright. Ah, oh, this sucks so bad. Like, the... The playthrough when I was playing for myself, it went so well, but now, of course, it's going to suck ass. Because, of course, it is. Alright, so one of my characters stopped being stunned, which is good. And now we can... That doesn't look like something hmm. you'd use to help someone, does it? Breaking their security. Let's give it this a quick hack. And if we get everybody out of here alive, well, at the very least, we will have two rookies for the one person that we lost. And we will have someone else to help out in the haven as well. So, yeah, it might work out in the end, but man, I really wish I didn't lose anyone. Alright, as for you, let's take the shot and hope for the best. Good. Finally, some kills. Defense. Alright, that's pretty good. PCSs are always useful. Alright, so these are the civilians. Uh, 
Of course, we have the sectoid in Overwatch, so I can't move anyone else up the roof at this point. We could get two shots with this character, and I do feel the need to do it. So I'm going to take a 62% at the drone, which is a kill, even though it was a grace. But it works. And then a 48% at this guy. Please let this work. Nice. We really needed this. Alright, so all that's left is the sectoid. And since he's on the roof, he's not going to be a problem. Let's move all of my characters as far forward as we can. And of course, we're not going to be able to get an overwatch on this position, so... Let's have a quick reload. Overwatch. In case this guy tries to do something interesting. Oh, another drone. Ah, it's going for a panic. Mind control. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, it's easily fixable. Just need to flashbang the sectoid. I'm just hoping we have one person in range with a flashbang to do that. And we do. Let's move this character up on the roof. 100% to hit now. <laughs> Let's get the flashbang on the sectoid. Now we'll take care of that. It's a waste of a flashbang, maybe? No, it's not a waste of a flashbang. It was a waste of a turn, and it does fix a problem that we were having. Alright. So, Carol Griffin. What can we do with you? You need some backup for sure. But first, let's take our civilians out of here as far as we can as we can get them. Let's see. Heavy cover for you. Ah, dual heavy cover for you. Now I'm not. Yeah, this section was already damaged, so maybe another grenade will break it, and at the very least, it will do some damage to the sectoid. They didn't quite break that thing. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to run this character forward, away from the drone. This character needs to reload, first of all. And we're going to try to ambush the drone as it moves forward. Either that or the sectoid if it moves. 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 Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Reinforcements, really? Mm-hmm. Of course. A gunner and someone who can go on Overwatch. All right. This guy is disoriented, so he's not going to be very good at m at anything, most likely. All right, two damage on the drone. And then he's going to take a shot, but it misses. It was only 17%. Excellent. All right, sectoid Overwatch, really. So I'm not entirely sure what happened to the reinforcements, or where they are positioned exactly. First things, why can you not see this target? You could take the overwatch shot. Oh, well, let's take the shot then, and hope for the best. <laughs> it's only one damage, of course. Yeah. This is my luck. So many grazes. We could not even see the targets from up in these positions. This would be a great place to have that view, but... Damn it. Alright, so this guy is in Overwatch. We need to do something about it. 25%. We could suppress. And that should take care of the Overwatch. Yeah, cool. Alright, and we're not going to be able to kill this guy, unfortunately. I'm going to move this character forward and move them close to the flank, I hope. Mm 
All right, and so I have no idea what the what the enemy reinforcements are up to at this point. I think they could be over here somewhere. They probably dropped close, but I'm going to overwatch for now. And maybe these guys should move back inside for now. Let us see. Hunker down behind cover for everyone. <laughs> Interesting way to move around. <laughs> no, hunker down is what I said. All right, disorientation removed. Ah, here are the reinforcements. All right, so they drop behind the building. That's not terribly bad. What are you doing? Ah, it's just a shot, but it misses. Alright, another overwatch. Sadly, it doesn't kill. Are you going to stun? You're going to stun. Yes, of course you are. And it's going to work too. Yep. Jesus Christ. Alright, so we get a shot. Free damage. Alright, so these guys are moving closer together. Oh, really? That was a hit? And a good hit, too. Wow. We can't use the flamethrower. Or at least we can't right now. Let's see. Let's take the shot at the drone. We need to kill it. That does take care of the drone. Excellent. And now we need to reload. You need to reload. And my civilians... They just need to run. As far as their legs can carry them. Because they have no use in this fight. As for you, we could definitely kill the sectoid. Why can't we move in this position? Oh, it's a pillar, right? We can only move around it. Alright, so all we have left is these two characters for now. We have four people. And I kind of want to set these guys on fire, but I need a good place to do it. Preferably from high cover. Well, we could do it from here. Let's go for it. Dual-sided, heavy cover. The flamethrower might reach him or not, and if not, we can throw a grenade. The flamethrower doesn't reach. Frag grenade, then. Kill the sectoid at the very least, I hope. Nice. Decent. Right, as for you, Overwatch. He's burning too, ah, oh, that's nice. So that means, ah, oh, he's dual moving. Waste of his turn, and on the next turn he is going to receive fire damage. And of course this guy is going to shoot. And he's going to be an Overwatch too. But if we move decently, that shouldn't matter, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. This character is going to move. And of course, if I move my character over here, we might not have Overwatch, but we, maybe we did, if, we, if they break through the doors. So I'm just going to fall back here and Overwatch. You have 18%, so you're going to Overwatch as well. These characters, however, just need to keep running. Where is it? We need to go over here. They don't have any civilian backup, so if more reinforcements show up, then we are going to be fucked. But I'm not too too worried about it. 62. So you know what? We should fall back as well. well do. Take the best route. And of course, no line of sight in this area, so it's safe. And now we can ambush these guys a little bit. Fire and move. Fire and move. That's a double move. Waste of his turn. That guy is still burning. More of them in. This guy is no longer stunned. Alright, so. More of them are coming in. That is terrible news. So let's move you up into dual heavy cover and reload. And all of these characters 
they can't do shit. So what we're going to do is we're going to fall them back and we're going to overwatch. Alright, these characters. Finally, we'll be able to reach the evac zone. Let's see. You as well. Alright, so that is one of our objectives complete and then everybody else just needs to move in here as well. And I think it's highly likely that these characters, uh, well, they will all basically start running back as well. Because I think the reinforcements will show up at the back of the building as well, but I'm not entirely sure. In case they drop on my position, oh nice, <laughs> then we can get overwatches on them. But this is definitely not going as smoothly as I had hoped. Yeah, they did drop on my position. Because of course they did. Jesus Christ. But luckily we are we are prepared for this eventuality. So, getting some shots in. Miss. Hit, but only a grace. That was the kill. One of the kills that we're looking for at least. Right, this guy is going to take a shot. Oh, Jesus Christ! Really? I hate when it happens out of heavy cover. I really, really do. Alright, so what are we going to do here? We could move you forward and take a flanking shot. This character needs to be picked up and moved. You could take two shots. You know what, I'm going to have to go for the flank here, and hope for the best. I need to get these frets away from my position. And <laughs> of course it misses. Fucking hell. That is just so terrible. I'm having the worst of luck. Alright, heavy cover. Again, there's just no place where I can get some, where I can be sure of getting cover, you know? Like wh where I won't be flanked on the next turn. Right, I did get the grenade in there. We're going to have to use flashbangs here. I just need to be very careful with my placement because otherwise... Man, come on. So close. There it is. Alright, and then I guess the best we can do is this place right there. And that's very easily flankable. We're going to use another flashbang. More reinforcements, really? What the fuck? Alright guys, sorry about that. I was rudely interrupted. So let's see how we survive this. Oh man, that looked like a hit, but thankfully it wasn't. It is disoriented after all, but uh, you never know. The advent can make these shots work. And this is another... Uh, ooh, 9%, yeah. I wonder if the guy in the back is also... Uh, it's oriented. No, he's not disoriented. Alright, so. I think the best thing that we can do right now is just to try and make a run for it, because we are never going to stay alive long enough to, to keep everyone alive, I don't think. Which is really unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I think all we can do here is run and stick to high cover as best as we can. So this character, for sure, 
we'll have to have to <laughs> make a run to high cover over there. As for Ella, um, there is only really low cover to run towards, which is really fucked up. And then Carol Griffin, well, she could make it inside of a building here. This could be flanked. This is still only low cover. But we do also need to make a move as far back as we can. So I guess this will be our best bet. At this point, we have little choice but to just duck and hope for the best. It's unfortunate that she doesn't or isn't able to get to a really beneficial high cover position. I think this might be the best, best chance that we're going to get, but the advent officer might still be able to run over here. Or somebody else might. But then everybody could flank her potentially and... The further we can get, the better it will be. Let's go for it. A lateral move is bad, but it's probably the best we can do and then we can maybe move around the building later on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Even more. Well then. Oh man, two, two, two drones as well. And that's a flank already. Oh, I didn't think that was going to be the flank. Honestly. That's another flank probably. No, that's not a flank. That was Overwatch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Alright. So much shit going on here. I cover, but... Oh, man. Yeah. Look at all of these aliens, man. Where the hell do they come from? I mean, what the literal fuck. And another flank, and that's a hit, of course, because... Yeah, well, what do you expect at this point? Ugh. This game is hard as balls, man. Another miss, thankfully. Quite some distance, and of course the high cover is beneficial, but... Uh, what are you going to do? Shoot. Of course! Of course! Jesus fucking Christ. And then the sectoid gets a move, I guess, or he's just taunting, is he? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. This is so fucked up. Alright. Um, without a doubt, the drones will be able to catch up with me. The best thing for us to do is run and then get high cover. And then, I mean, if we move over here. That's going to be flanked, most likely. But we do need to get closer, and everything's going to get flanked, either by drones or something else. So fuck it. Of course, we have to go through Overwatch fire, and that's a kill, because what the hell else do you expect? <sighs> and it's a panic. Trust me, that character is going to go down as well. Fucking hell. I'm actually surprised not, no more reinforcements. Yeah, of course, there come the reinforcements. I mean, what the fuck, man? And pretty much everybody's in high cover. Or will be. <laughs> yeah. Disoriented. Panicked. And whatever else you can imagine. It's all happening. We're going to have to brave Overwatch fire. Jesus. Not quite a flank. But it was surprisingly low for how close he is to flanking us and that we're not actually in high cover from that position, I think. And he's raising a corpse. I mean, we're getting some people out of this, but nowhere near enough. Like, the amount of people that are dying here is insane. It's staggering. They're all bleeding out, and as soon as I get out, these people are dead. Right? Still panicked. What the fuck? 
And more aliens. I am dead. I am so dead. I am completely not really dead. That's going to be a stun. And that's going to be effective. Trust me, it will be. And we will be dead. Missed. <laughs> well, that was surprising, but of course it doesn't matter. That character is dead. She just doesn't know it yet. Area suppression, of course, and then if we move, we're going to be dead. And then there's drones all over the place, it's another stun. Is it another miss, really? Well, I guess our luck couldn't get any worse. And there we go, bleeding out. Everybody's dead. And there everybody dies. All of my soldiers are dead. 39 aliens. 39. 39 fucking aliens. Jesus fucking Christ. Well then. Just, what the hell. Well, we made it home. Well, the Avenger made it home. Jesus Christ, there goes our A-team. We did get um, two rookies. <laughs> Doesn't make up for the people we lost, of course. And we won we have one resistance member. And what's with the fucking masks, man? Fucking hell. Alright. Now, all that we have left is one character or uh, one group of three. And you know what? I don't trust it. I'm going to abort that mission. I was only three people, and that's just not, that's not happening. It's not. Four days, 20 hours, extremely light. No, I'm going to ignore all of this until something better comes along. And actually, let's stop this for a second. Intel. Everybody set to Intel, but I'm, uh, I didn't mean to fly over here, but let's see. Hiding, this is our new character, I think. Let's set her to Intel as well. And let's do some more scans. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance. <laughs> I have outdone myself. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. Sure thing. Let's get the supply drop. 17 supplies. That is so, so low. Because we're not getting any money. That's my yep. We can make a proving ground at Vent Autopsy. Or the Officer Autopsy, but we need two scientists for that, and we're not getting that. Resistance Radio costs 60 intel. I'm not sure how effective that is going to be quite yet. So, for now, I guess modular weapons will be researched. Yeah, 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 sure. Alright, we've got some supplies, recruit new staff, well, you would have to get some at the black market, but um, we don't have the money, I think. We could get a technical for 42 supplies, hair triggers, stocks, hacking, yeah. Something to sell, nothing much, we need the corpses, that's not happening. Alright, so at this point... Advanced strength here is the lowest, so I guess we should go back there and scan some more. And I really, really hope that the next mission is going to go a lot smoother than what we've had so far, because up until now, things have been extraordinarily shit. Right, five days, seven hours, very light baseline activity for an engineer. This seems useful. This, this sounds like it could happen. So let's see, what do we get? We have squaddy and a lot of rookies. We have an assault squaddy. What else do we have? Light to moderate. It's too many people. Let's remove one. And we will have a squad of four. And then we will have the very light uh, stuff. We will infiltrate for up to 109%. Is there anyone else that we could take? Sharpshooter. 
Rookie, 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 rookie. Right. Well, I guess we're going to only take our assaults with the shotgun and then three rookies and that is going to have to do. But maybe one of these should use instead of a flashbang or instead of a grenade actually, that's instead of the grenade, take a meth kit. Right, start infiltration. This of course is a mission that is going to be happening on the next video, but um, let's see, this will be the best one, I think. And then we have another target available. Extremely light, 31 intel, for 4 days and 15 hours. Hack the workstation on Advent Train. Find a lead. We do need to find leads as well. We could send some people. Hope for the best. We could send another squad of 4 maybe. So here we have our sharpshooter. We will autofill this squad, but this is wow, nope. That was bad. Light to moderate. We could only send three people, and why are you not having any limbs? Why do you have no legs? This is <laughs> well you can go. We could only Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is not happening, is it? We need more time. But we could boost with 50% with some intel and then we would go to extremely light. So maybe if we select another rookie, we could boost it up to 113%. And then with another rookie, the one with no legs, we would boost it up to light. No. Let's remove you for now. And we're going to use a boost with some intelligence. Because that way we can get all of these people in, and we will still be able to get the very light resistance. Of course, no idea how effective that is still going to be, because as you could see... Ooh, 4 days, 9 hours. Engineer. We could use the engineer. And we have, what do we have here? Rookies. And personnel. 10 days and 23 hours to infiltrate. Yeah, this could be it. It's a hack workstation. We don't have the someone who could hack. So you know what? Let's abort this. Everyone's on board. Bring them home. Let's go here instead, because we have so much time to infiltrate. That means we can take a bigger squad. We can have a full squad. of uh, up, And we can still infiltrate up to 121%. Wow. And these people don't have legs, so I'm going to customize them a little bit. Alright, everybody's been customized. Can't complain about... I can't feel my legs! <laughs> so, everybody has legs and some better hair and everything like that. So, let's start infiltration. All rookies except for my sniper, which is unfortunate. But we can get everybody in. We have a, a large group of people. And we will en can encounter only very light resistance. So... Let's see, we could make stuff in the proving ground, but we don't have a proving ground yet. We can make a bunch of stuff. And now I guess the best thing to do would be either to research resistance radio, but that would take up almost all of our intel, or research basic research, which is 24 days, which is so long. But it would speed up future research as well. And I guess this will be better. Let's spend the intel, because this will allow us to use less intel for contacting other regions. So, yeah, we're going to have to make this work. Alright, this is good news, because now not only can we get combat tactics, which vengeance could be very useful, because if a squad mate dies or is critically wounded, gain random tactical bonuses for two turns. Well, let's get that one, because... We're only playing with rookies. We have so many people dying. Let's see, we can train rookies as specific classes as well. We do need it. So let's send him and become... Um, what do we need? Probably a shinobi. And that's it. We can only have the one guy right now. But that's fine. He's the only guy left on the Avenger, I guess. But at least now we do know that we will get a shinobi, someone who we can definitely use. And this is of course a mission that we're not going to be able to do. Because we have only two teams and they're both in the field. And then we have, let's see... Yeah, also not happening. 
I'm just waiting for one of these to... Uh, ah, that one is at 100%, so we're very close at having to go for it. We have extremely light, but of course this is going to be for the next video, and hopefully, hopefully, this mission is going to go better. We have to rescue him from an advent vehicle, and I think that's going to be a little bit easier, because usually the extraction zone is a little bit closer to that vehicle as well. So, I'll see you guys for the next video.